Do you have a good gal pal or wing person that you go out with? You know what? Mine is my dog Frost. Hi, it's Nancy Soleri, founder of Living Full Out, and I really do walk my walk and talk my talk. I mean that. As many of you know, I have what's called retinitis pigmentosa. And over the years, I've had measurable vision loss. I mean, so much so that it's really hard to see faces. Colors, ooh, lost those a long time ago. Depth perception loss, hard to see stairs or curbs or edges, any of that. And I love life, right? I, I, I still do fun things. I, I scuba dive, I, I've been on wave runners. You know, I do a lot of things despite having my visual impairment. But dating, I will tell you, has gotten trickier. As you all know, there's websites, right? Some good, some not so good, but I feel like the font has gotten a lot smaller over the years of my dating, but now I can't even see the computer. I use talking devices. That's how I do everything. And I've really had to get creative over the years in how I date, meaning that sometimes I need to have a friend help me. Hey, we can have it, make it happy hour, right? She can hop on her computer, log in with my credentials. I can be a great attentive listener and we can respond and kind of date together. And, and it's fun. I feel like I'm, I feel like she's kind of my wing woman on this journey. But what happens when I have the date, right? I, I gotta go, right? I gotta get, get to that venue, uh, get to that hot spot. And sometimes I have a conversation that I have a visual impairment, but sometimes it just never really comes together on the phone. And when I meet them in person for the first time is when they might find out that I'm legally blind. So it's been a little bit tricky over the years because sometimes I go it alone and I show up and a host or a doorman or somebody walks me to the venue and, and then I chat with the hostess or the server and kind of really feel good about where I'm sitting and my, what I may want to order. But a lot of times I like to kind of press the envelope a little bit more because I want to make sure that on the other end of it, I meet someone who you know, thinks I'm adorable, hopefully, but someone who also supports my dreams and goals, but someone who also celebrates who I am despite being legally blind. And so when I got my guide dog Frost in 2021, guess what? I took another switch up to my dating routine. I date with my guide dog, with Frost. He is awesome and such a good judge of character. I'm telling you, it's kind of like if I know he runs up to the person and wants to like lick them all over or is just jumping up and down, well, I'm thinking, well, that's a good sign. Frost must like him a lot. Of course, if Frost is kind of scared or nervous or paying no attention, eh, might not be the best suitor, right? <laughs> and so, you know, sometimes dogs are very intuitive, but it also shows me how did they react to finding out I'm legally blind? How do they react to possibly dating someone who has a guide dog? And do they even like dogs? I mean, that's, that's a must, right? So I have found that dating with Frost just allows me to learn so much more about the person that I'm potentially going to date long term or more. Now, I want to make sure that you check out the video in the description because the one thing I've learned, well, many things, but the biggest thing I've learned about going legally blind is that I don't need to have sight to have vision. When I close my eyes at night and I dream, I dream in color. Even with my eyes open, when I walk you know, all around town and I go on dates and go on vacations, it's as if I can see the sky being blue. I don't really see it as blue. And, and I look at sunsets, I fill in all the things that my eyes can't see, my imagination fills them in. Well, you know what? When I'm on a date with Frost and I'm talking to that gentleman, I kind of fill in what I think he looks like. And when he holds my hand from his embrace, from his laughter, from how invested he is in getting to know me, well, that fills in a lot of who he is as a person. So I want you to leap away from this video, you know, dating your way. There's no right or wrong way. It's just about feeling comfortable in your own skin, taking that leap of faith, and always trusting that love is possible. I know it's easy to give up, but you know what? Frost and I, we are committed to our journey, and we will stand beside you as well. Here's to you living full out. 
Thank you for watching our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you'd like to see other inspirational videos. Make sure to ring that bell. Also, connect with us on other social media sites and comment back if you'd like to share what type of videos you want us to create. Here's to you living your life full out.